record here and welcome to day seven of the 90 day challenge. I'm excited about today's topic because we are going to take a look at a successful Shopify store and reverse engineer it. And I'm going to teach you this process to where you can find several successful stores and reverse engineer them. Now, based on how much time we have, we might look at more than one store, but we're for sure going to do uh, an in-depth overview of at least one store because if you want to be successful, you've got to start with the end in mind. You have to you know, begin by looking and identifying where you want to be in one month, three months, six months, a year, and you've got to be able to see it and visualize it. So I'm going to be taking notes here in this Google document, and while I'm doing that, you should be able to come watch us here in the 90-day uh, challenge group. Let me see if I can refresh. Yep, people are just now starting to join us. We have just gone live. Come on in and join us. We're right here. Uh, in the group and if you're watching along live you'll be able to answer some questions you'll be able to jump on in here say what's up if you guys uh, have questions regarding what we're talking about I'll try to monitor this and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk through a store that you should be modeling after okay so we got people jumping on joining us the numbers kinda keep popping up we'll end up with um, you know several hundred live at a time and probably several thousand watching us as we go so I'm just gonna get started and again if you guys wanna access notes to this you go over here to the files section and you should be able to get the 90 day challenge notes right there, okay? So just go over to the file section, get those notes right there. All right, that being said, uh, let's just jump right into this. Hold on, let me pull this in another screen here. And let's go into it. So today's site we're gonna do, we're gonna do some reverse engineering on a site called The Geeks Garage. Now, there's many different sites that we're gonna potentially do this for over the 90 days, but what I wanna get you familiar with is being able to model after successful stores. See yourself there. So we're gonna take a look at a store, we're going to take a look at their, um, their design, their template, their theme, um, everything they're doing, their categories, their products, their structure, and I want you to see yourself doing this, okay? So here we go. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is a site here that today we're going to model after called The Geek's Garage, okay? And, um, you know, this doesn't mean you have to have a site exactly like this, but it's just a good idea to continue to find sites and continue to model after them. Now, also, just because you see a site that looks good, doesn't mean you necessarily want to model after it. There's more than just a good-looking site. You also want to find a site that has good products, that has good titles, good descriptions. You want to look at their social media. You want to try to see what they're advertising, what they're doing. You can. You, I'm going to show you right now. You guys are going to love this. I'm going to show you how to be able to dive in and kind of see what stores are doing. And, of course, the way that I found the Geek's Garage was by doing um, the Google uh, searches. So starting from Google, you know, I've taught you pretty much in every single uh, webinar we've done to go – do site colon myshopify.com and, and then type in some keywords on what it might be. Site colon myshopify.com. You know, maybe you want to research to see some cell phone cases. And what you'll do is eventually you'll see like some stores you really like. When you find stores you like, bookmark them. Create like a Shopify folder and, or whatever folder you want and start bookmarking sites because you're going to find some sites you really like and you're going to want to model after them. You go, oh, wow, they have really good you know, they have really good social proof. Wow, they have really good reviews. Wow, they have really good, um, you know, credibility. Wow, I definitely feel like I'm on a, a store that I would actually shop from or whatever it might be. You're going to want to book. Wow, they have really good products. They have really good categories. They have really good pictures. They have really good descriptions, whatever it might be. They have a really good logo. They have a really good theme. They have really good colors. No matter what it is, remember those. So as I was searching along in our webinars, I came across one of the sites we mentioned before was a site called The Geek's Garage, which we found in a Google search. Um, this is not my current site, so I'm not going to log in. Um, and it might be a member inside of our community. If it is, I apologize for showcasing this, but we're only going to go with what the public can see. I'm not going to go into the admin. So let's go ahead and start dissecting The Geek's Garage. And again, you guys should be able to comment in and join along here, okay? So who's excited, you guys? Who's excited for a value pack session? Alex says, hey guys, can't wait. Who's excited for a value pack session where we're going to get to dive in and look at a real site and try to learn from it? Okay, here we go. So let's, let's start taking notes over here in this document. So let's look at this, okay? First things first, let's look at the logo. Let's start with the logo. Let's take a look at it. The Geeks Garage, okay? Um, their domain name is thegeeksgarage.com. Their uh, logo is really clean. Notice it's got black and orange. It's got somebody with glasses on it. Really simple. A logo like this, you guys could get designed for you know less than a hundred bucks from an outsourcer. So they have a nice like nice little logo, the Geeks Garage. It looks clean. It looks professional. So when it comes to logo, how many of you? How many of you, when looking at this, how many of you think, um, on a scale of one to ten, we'll let you guys actually we'll start doing that on a scale of one to ten. 
when it comes to logo, do this in the comments right here. Do like, do like this. Lo do, type in the word logo and give it a rating. Like a logo, give it a rating, one to 10. Maybe you're gonna give it a five, maybe you're gonna give it a 10. Do something like that in the comments right now. Say, say, type in the word logo and put a number next to it. So let's say logo, I'm gonna give them an eight. Logo eight. And go ahead and do that so you can kind of follow along and participate in kind of reviewing a site. Okay, logo eight, which means that I'm basically giving them an eight out of 10 for their logo design. Now, what about the next one we're gonna go with? Let's go with color, color design. Okay, and let me actually make these bullet points so we can go through. Okay, logo, um, and I'll type about these. Okay, uh, nice logo, unique, good use of colors, good use of, uh, good use of site name in the logo, um, glasses on character represents uh, geek. That was, I think it was pretty good. Okay, now let's get into colors. Okay, what are they doing for colors? They're using a really nice um, black, orange, and white. Black, orange, and white. Um, Good use of colors that match the logo theme um, makes the site look and feel professional. Okay? So, um, nice logo, nice colors. Now, before I go any further, let me, let me remind you, let me remind you um, of some a big disclaimer. Disclaimer. Don't spend all day designing your site Focus on sales of products. The site design will help, but not as much as finding the right products, the right audience, and the right ads. Okay, that's the core. Okay, the right audience, the right product, the right ads. Um, let's say uh, site design can help with, and we'll kind of put what site design can help with. Site design can help with um, credibility, professionalism, um, good user experience, um, social proof, um, customer belief, and stuff like that, right? There's probably a big list of things that site design can help with. So I'm putting this disclaimer up there to remind you that you know, at the end of the day, site design is helpful, but the problem that a lot of people do is that they spend so much time uh, designing their site, but then they're not making any sales. You could really waste a lot of time on that. It's better, more important to get sales going. So let's go back. They've got a nice, um, would you guys agree? Would you guys agree with that? Let me know. Let me go ahead and re refresh this, okay? Um, hundreds of you are starting to pour on watching live. Okay, perfect. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. People giving between fives to tens on logo design. Okay, so... What you have here is you've got a logo, it's got black, orange, and white in it. You've got a theme, it's got black, orange, and white. Um, and if you recall, just the other day, uh, I want to see if it comes up in a quick little search. Um, I spelled it wrong. Okay, in a quick little search right here, um, Lawrence Aponte, if you guys ever use the search in the group, Lawrence Aponte just shared this really cool link called whattheme.com. And so you can kind of come in here to whattheme.com and you can put in the domain name of a site that you're researching and you can paste it, and it can give you some um, it can give you some elements of that. So we'll let that go in the background. It's kind of reviewing some of the thing. There's there's a lot of there's tools that are out there. There's Chrome extensions. There's websites like What Theme. There's just all kinds of stuff. Um, I don't know why it's not finding. We couldn't find more details about the theme. Um, I don't know why it's not finding that. But I was going to go through and do that. We'll come back to that because I'll show you how to find it as well by viewing the developer source. Um, we'll come back to that. That's an advanced thing, and I don't want to play with people. But you should be able to come in here and um, be able to easily find a theme uh, by putting in the, the domain there. I don't know why it's not finding this Shopify theme. Maybe because they customized it a little bit, for all I know. But anyways, there's a good research, a good resource, whattheme.com. Okay, um, coming back. So you kind of look at the design. What they have is they have a sidebar menu here, nice and easy, simple design, and they have a, a header menu, Okay. And then they have a footer. So they have, uh, this is called the footer down here. Um, and they've got, so like they've got this header menu, side menu, and footer menu. Okay, these are ways to navigate around the site. So let's look at each one of these real quick. For the sidebar menu, it's very clean. What they do is they use all caps here um, for the collections. These are called collections. Okay, so in Shopify, you can build collections. A collection of posters, collection of electronics, kitchen stuff, and mobile stuff. 
These are called collections. These, these, when you go in your Shopify store, you can build out, add products to a collection. And then, of course, now they actually have more collections here, but these are collection types. So now you're talking about types of items, and you can press view more, and they've got a bunch of them. So what they've done is they've created a sidebar menu with this theme that organizes their content very well, very nice and simple. Now, up on the top, they're using the basic, the general menu with drop-downs like this to be able to do the same thing. These are linking into collections. So this site uses what's called collections. They add a bunch of products into collections and they link to them, okay? So you got the under $9.99 collection. This is gonna bring up products that are under $10. They've got the kitchen gimmicks collection. It's gonna bring up a bunch of kitchen products. And they've got the electronic, uh, okay, hold on, before I X this out, look what else they did. The Geeks Garage wants to show you notifications, okay? This is an add-on plugin right now while we're, while we're browsing the site, they've got the Geeks Garage gives us um, what's called push notifications. This is only available in Chrome. If I'm a Chrome user, I can press allow. And what's gonna happen now is this site has the ability to send me notifications. And here's our first one in real time. Welcome to the Geeks, Geeks Garage. Thank you for subscribing to our notifications. So they can push me notifications like this up on the top right. I've just given them per permission to push me notifications about certain products and stuff like that, okay? If I clicked on it, it just took me back to their site. So you look here, UTM source equals fire push, okay? So they're probably using a, um, an app called fire push. We're gonna look it up really quick. Fire push or push fire, fire push. Um, and this is what it is right here, fire push, a simple to use browser push notification solution for e-commerce. Helping you to remind and re-engage your customers even after they left your store. Click here to see how it works. And basically, that's what just happened. We just got a fire push. So, already in a, in a second here, we've already started to identify some stuff, okay? So, they got logo, they've got color, they've got theme. Um, couldn't identify which theme yet, but it looks clean. Good use of navigation bars and links. Okay, then, then we got... Um, We'll come down here and we'll put features, okay? Um, we'll put features and apps, okay, that they're using. Right off the bat, we saw, we noticed that they're using something called Fire Push, Chrome extension to push updates to all visitors about their store must use Google Chrome. Okay, and then if I wanted to, I could even put the link to that um, fire push, so I have it later. So what I'm essentially doing is taking notes just like that. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm starting, this is called reverse engineering. The reason we do it this way, in case some of you are confused, the reason we do it this way is because I'm going to start with a site that's a little bit more successful figuring they've taken the time to figure out things that work and stuff like that. So we just got this push notification thing. That was pretty cool. They've also got this shipping bar up here. Okay, see the shipping bar, whatever, free international shipping. Let's go ahead and look at this. It's got a little Z on it. Let's click that, okay? They're using another tool called Zota Box. 10 free tools to their website. It adds social buttons. Um, it's got this, this link to your product page up here for a bar. It's got promo bar, add exit pop-up. Okay, so there's this, there's this thing called Zota Box. So let's look at this one again. So they have, let's go here and let's do Zota Box. Okay, um, looks like a 10 in one suite for Shopify related features such as social media, um, and we can go back and look at it, such as social media, um, where would it go? Social media buttons. Um, they have Facebook live chat, contact form, promo bar, such as social media buttons, Facebook live chat, um, contact buttons, promo bar, BTC. Okay, so just like that, we found that, and let's go, let's go find the direct link to ZotaBox right there, info.ZotaBox. Do you see what I'm doing? Does everybody kind of see what I'm doing here? I'm basically still, um, I'm still just reviewing this site, but as I start reviewing this site, I've noticed that they use a tool here. I noticed they use the Chrome extension tool. Um, I noticed they have this here. That explains. All of that's coming from ZotaBox, Okay. I notice they have this bar, this bar up here is from ZotaBox and this one's from ZotaBox, but I don't see the Facebook live chat, so maybe they don't have that Facebook live chat. I don't know what this is here. This might be from ZotaBox, um, this little proud to fulfill this many orders in the last 30 days. Um, 
And I don't know if this is real or not, but if this is real, they've shipped 128,000 products in the last 30 days. If that is real, then here's a site with a lot of credibility that we can learn a lot from. So let's just kind of keep going through. These are like little, um, these are like little pop-ups, right? Get 25% off today's order. They got these little pop-ups right here. We can click on that. And look, this is coming from Fire Push. See, right off the bat, we already see, here's another Fire Push thing. It's got this notification box with discounts. So I'm gonna go put that up there as well. Um, and notification bars with discounts, okay? So I'm gonna put notes about it because I'm gonna know whether I want it. I've got the domain name. I can learn more about it. I can see more about it. I can basically see like what features they have. Um, One-stop solution for push notification, 15 unique messages to guarantee maximum consumer spend, um, card abandonment, promo pushes, price drops, back in stock items, tons of, tons of cool stuff. So I'm learning, already I'm learning, and this site here too, they got, you could add a contact, a Facebook chat, social media buttons, all this kind of stuff, 20 plus marketing tools. And you can see what they all look like, a promo bar, social buttons, a slider box, Facebook live chat, contact form, easy pop-up, um, arrows to go back to the top, social mobile bar, testimonials can come up, cookie notifications, notification box, whatever. So you basically can like learn all about um, what these things do. I'm not going to spend my time there. But what's cool is that here we are just going through this site and we're already starting to learn about it. And then users can like X those things out as well. Okay. So you're starting, and I'm going to X that one out. Okay, so now we're back to the site and we're still doing a review. So before we go any further, how many people think that's cool? If I just stopped right here, how many people think, oh my God, this is cool? You go to Google, you can look for really popular sites, you find popular sites and you start reverse engineering how, what stuff they're using, what stuff are the big boys using? How many people feel like this, this alone is a, uh, is a valuable tip? Let me know right now if you guys feel like just that alone is a valuable tip if, if like we didn't even really go much further. Um, let's see, let's see some of this feedback here. Cool, real cool, yes. Um, boom, boom, boom. Da, 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 da. Roderick says they're using the classic theme. Um, it says theme classic, perfect. I must have just typed something in wrong. So classic theme, let's go back up here to theme. Uh, classic theme. It looks clean with good use of, okay. This is, you guys. This is stuff we do all the time. Um, experts, good top sellers on Shopify are always looking at other sites, okay? So we're starting to look our way around. We're starting to see what do they do. Let's go down here to the bottom, okay? Quick links. They got a quick link to a search bar. And look at that. They got a quick link to a search box. Now, even though there's a link here, they put a quick link to slash search, okay? So what they did was they did slash search and they did a quick link. So right off the bat, some people are, some people are gonna wonder like, how can I do this? Well. There's lots of ways you could do this with your store, but you might want to try just putting the word slash search at the end of your store because depending on your theme, you might have um, a, slash search, a slash search set up. Okay, so let's just see. You might already have something you know, set up for you. So you can always kind of go and look and see if you have slash search. Just go to a page, slash search, and look at that. See how it's a default with most of the themes? You could just add slash search to the end of a domain name to add a direct link for people to be able to search your store. Now these guys felt like it was valuable to have a search button, quick links, search. Okay, so something they, they felt that was popular was um, search. They added a quick link to search their entire store by linking to their store URL with slash search at the end. Okay, there's another like little thing. So if you wanna kind of learn, you can start to look and reverse engineer. So that's what they did with slash search, okay? Then they created a page that was about us. They created a page to help um, kind of tell a little bit more about their, sto their story, right? So they basically tell about, they tell about them. So you can add an about us page. You just go into Shopify pages, created a page about you, okay? So that's another thing they do. Now, what about FAQs? They added a page called FAQ. And you know it's, you know it's a page because it says slash pages slash FAQs. So you gotta ask yourself, let's go in here. Let's go and let's do this right here. Let's do um, pages. Okay, they got a search page. They got about us. They wrote a page telling more about who they are to build a bond with their customers. We'll put trust. Okay, they built a, um, okay, let's, let's make this bold really quick. 
Okay, let's keep going. They built, uh, what else, FAQ and a blog, FAQ page. Answering customers' most common questions can be a helpful way to overcome objections and get more sales on your site. So if a, if a customer, if you notice that customers are always asking a lot of similar questions, that's a great opportunity to be able to um, to be able to answer that, right? Where is the store located? We're based in the United States and India. Where do you ship from? We ship from our partner, our partnered sweat-free factory is located in China. So please expect your items to be shipped separately if you order more than one item. See how they do this right here? They're basically explaining to their customers that they're shipping their products from China. They're, they're essentially drop shipping. And they're also explaining why their items come shipped separately. Okay? So it's all, it's all they're straightforward with it. What is your refund um, policy? They've got a refund policy that says strictly no refunds or exchanges unless it's defective. Um, they're doing no refunds. What are your shipping charges? We offer free worldwide shipping to more than 185 countries on no minimum order value. So they've got a shipping um, deal there. Can I place the order from outside the US? Yes. What about customs fees? We're not responsible for that. Can I cancel or modify, modify my order after I paid for it? And any other questions, they got support. So what they've got is they've got basically an FAQ section for popular things. People probably ask all the time, why are my orders shipped separately? Um, why is my order coming from China? You know, are you in China or where are you? You know, what is, what, how does shipping work? What is your refund policy? See how they're addressing these? These are very helpful in an FAQ type of a section. Okay, let's go down here. They got the basic ones, privacy policy, terms of use, and refunds and returns. Okay, but notice how they basically simplified this a lot. Returns. Our policy lasts 30 days. If 30 days have gone by since your purchase, unfortunately, we cannot offer you a return. To be eligible for return, you must, your item must be unused in the same condition you received it. It also must be the original packaging. Several types of goods, um, blah, 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 blah. And you'll notice um, refunds, if, it, if applicable, they're, on their other thing, they're saying they don't even want to give refunds. They probably should get these two things in sync. They probably forgot that they mentioned one thing on their FAQ and one thing here. But this gives you an example how they might go in there and adjust their terms of, terms of use. This website is operated by Pursuit99. Um, so Pursuit99 is likely um, like the name of the company. Pursuit99 maybe has a bunch of websites and they're operating all of these different websites. That might be how it works. So if, if just because you have like your site here, maybe you have a company name or an LLC or something like that that you might want to have all your legal um, stuff with. And then they've got their blog. Okay, their blog is just news right here. And, you know, this article is messed up with a thumbnail, so it's not perfect. But what they bought, they're using their blog to basically also um, sell some vapes, it looks like. They're using their blog as a, as a way to be able to sell some vapes. Um, it looks like they're just doing, um, literally just linking, they're using their blog to link to third-party uh, stuff, partner products. So my guess is that this um, is actually not the blog at all. It just looks like a blog. My guess is that this is an add-on right here. Um, like an, uh, an actual um, add-on that they have that they're linking to third-party affiliate offers. These, you're looking at the URLs, these have like tr affiliate tracking in them. So my guess is that they don't have any articles in their blog. They probably put a link to their blog. They don't have any articles. But then underneath, they have some sort of a tool that's doing this. Now, for those of you guys that are super advanced, you can always use Chrome. You can right-click on something, and you can click on the Inspect button. And you'll be able to go in and actually inspect the code and be able to see everything that they're using. But since most all of us are, are beginners, I'm not even going to bother with this kind of stuff, okay? So because, you know, um, because it's just not going to make sense for us to go in there and dive in all this. But for those of you that are advanced, you can go in here and you can see, like, all the code that they're using, where they're linking to, um, everything about it, you know, ver veranode.com. And you can kind of go and you can kind of start looking at those kind of things and you can basically look and see what they're doing. Um, Veranode ads, e-commerce marketing is what they're doing. You know, I don't know a lot about this and it's advanced. Um, so I don't really know what to say about that other than um, looks like they're going to vapes. It's 18 or older because you have to be, um, you have to be into vapes or whatever. And they're basically, they're linking to another e-commerce site. So what they're doing is they're basically, it's powered by Shopify. So what they've done is they've got a network of e-commerce sites that they're linking to. So here's a site that is um, a vapes site, another site that we could model after. Um, this would actually be a great site to go model after and look, at a lot, look a lot about it. 
But you notice how they're like linking to each other, right? So that's what they're doing. They're using like this advertiser called Veranode Ads. And I don't want to get too advanced, but that's something you kind of put in. It's something we put in here. Veranode Ads. Um, let's see. Veranode Ads. Um, linking to other Shopify stores. Um, using an affiliate tracker. This places links at the bottom of your content pages to other stores, probably in exchange for traffic to your own store. That's probably what it is. It's probably this company, I don't know. I don't really want to look into it, but there's probably a way that you can put these ads on your, um, on your store, high quality e-commerce ads. So, you know, like if you have a blog, you might want to put like Google um, pay-per-click ads or Google AdSense and stuff like that on your blog. It's the same kind of thing. You can do the same thing with e-commerce ads. You can basically put like e-commerce ads and link to other Shopify stores and whatnot. So it's actually, it actually works out. There's lots of creative ways to do this. I don't want to get too advanced again, but there's always cool, you know, when you're, when you're researching, you can always find really cool stuff. So those are very no ads. I put the link. And notice it linked me over here to this roadside vapes. Now, without getting too distracted, right off the bat, um, this is likely a very popular site. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to bookmark this roadside vape site and um, and come back to that later. You know, so like right now we're doing, um, you know, uh, another site to um, reverse engineer is roadsidevapes.com. Okay. So that's something that we could do at another time or if we have time, stuff like that. Now, as I'm going through, I'm going to start looking at this. I'm going to start reverse engineering as much as I can, okay? Because that's, it's really cool. There's lots of really cool stuff. I mean, look, you can start to see how I want to model after it, how they got this, this deal of the day. Um, you know, they got this deal of the day thing, what's going on here. Their deal of the day, 24 hours only, huge savings on this Kanger Subox Nano. So just right off the bat, they got this really cool deal of the day feature. Um, and then they're, they're highlighting, spotlighting a deal. They're doing a really good job here with descriptions, titles, uh, pictures. Almost every, this, these things have videos. Um, really cool stuff, right? So, and you can kind of see, like, here's a video of it. They got this video that they can basically, um, they're playing some guy's video, uh, whoever this guy is. And then look at all this description there. They've got it in a bunch of collections. You can see what they're doing there. They've got social sharing. They've got related items. Do you see what I'm saying? There's, there's a lot. Now look, partner products. So do you see how this roadside vapes is using partner products? So just, just that alone tells us that these sites are all probably pretty good. Okay, so let's go to this site. Too much swag. Okay, now here's another site that's probably worth modeling after because these sites are all using the same kind of service. So you start to you start to look okay grid leather phone cases for iPhone models, you know, and you start to look and you start to you start to see what these people are doing. Too much swag, and you can start to reverse engineer and see their theme, see what they're doing, see everything about them. So literally, as you go, you can start to um, you can start to go and see popular sites for people that use this tool. Okay, so here's Jones Tees, goes right to a product. We also recommend these. There's some custom and look partner products. So do you see how they have this partner products edition? This is that advertising thing. And even though you might not be using it yet, what a great way to go and find some popular stores that you can model after. So you can see, oh, I want that subscriber newsletter. You can model and see what these people are doing. Customer reviews. They're linking directly into products. So it's an e-commerce advertising. It works really well. Um, really cool way to be able to find other sites. You know, here's a discount thing. Nafi Boutique. Bags. There's some bags, so you can kind of see other people using that. It's great to be able to kind of jump in here and start reverse engineering and start learning as much as you can about all of these different sites, okay? So that's what I would do. I would just start to learn and track those. Okay, let's go back to the Geeks Garage. Okay, what we've done so far is we've looked at the logo, we've looked at um, the navigation, we've looked at the theme, we've looked at the colors, we've looked at some extra tools that they have, the categories. We looked at their navigation and what they're doing and how they're doing it. And now let's look at some of their products. Okay, so let's go to like right here, electronics, mobile accessories. Okay, so now you can kind of look at like their products. Now you start to get an idea. Remember they're drop shipping from China. Look, sold out. 
They have like a really cool kind of sold out feature going on. Um, and so let's look at this. What is this? It's a free plus shipping item. Okay. So here's a free plus shipping item, um, a fast magnetic charger for iPhone and Android. It's a free plus shipping. You know, it's free. They're not going to give it free. That's how you know it's a free plus shipping item. So let's look at this page here. They've got this, this charger and they've got all these different pictures of it. Um, and they've got this video of it, fast magnetic charging cable. Um, so they've got this video that kind of shows how it works. And so videos sell, right? So they, they're embedding videos in their product description. You know, unplugging your phone should be effortless, introducing this thing, this technology. Okay, so right off the bat, here's a great idea of something to sell. Okay, something to sell. Like, look at this. This, this picture sells it really well, right? This picture shows it's just a magnetic charging cable you could use for your iPhone. Now you can connect with only one hand. Um, you don't have to connect your charger with two hands. It's, uh, there's like all these, all these things it does. So here's a great idea, okay? Here's a product that they're selling and you get an idea for a nice product. Now let's look at it. They've got a nice title. They've got their attributes. Um, they're, they're, um, they're different things you can do with it. You can get it in white, gold, or silver and you can get it for iPhone or Android. Um, and then it's uh, zero, which means it's free plus shipping and you can add it to the cart. They got secured, price, support, shipping. You can add it to the cart right here and you can check out, okay? They've got secured order. They got all this stuff right here. They've got pictures of it. They've got a description of it. Safe buy, shipping guaranteed. Over 40,000 happy customers. Um, similar products sold by our competitors for $45. Hurry before it's gone and this is free. So they found a great little free plus shipping offer. So what is this? This is the fast magnetic charger. So let's just type in magnetic charger iPhone. Let's go, um, hold on, my, my thing's gonna die soon, so hold on. Let's go to AliExpress. And let's do magnetic charger iPhone. And let's see if we can find it. Okay, look, right off the bat, you're already starting to see several options here for different, um, for different items, right? And you can see you can get it pretty cheap here, $3.95, so it's $6. You can start to see different, different things that they have, right? So you can start, I don't know exactly what the product is. Here's maybe something similar here. You can start to see really cool pictures, and there's lots of different... Um, things you could do here. So you can start to see like the different ones that they have here, what they're doing. They kind of see how they work. Look, it's powerful enough to hold it. So you can start to see, hold on, in the background, I'm going to grab my charger, you guys. Looks like my, my laptop's going to die. So let me get that thing charged in while we're talking. But you can start to reverse engineer. This is the first product that we clicked on. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to dive in and we're going to reverse engineer this because we're going to find literally, um, we're going to find some angles here. Jeez, I, I literally can't find a charger. <laughs> as funny as this is. I'm actually at a studio right now um, at a distance. So it looks like, hold on, I might need some help. Hang on one second, guys. Cam, are you handy? Well, maybe we'll go until it charge. Maybe we'll go until the battery dies. I can't find the charger. Sorry about that, folks. But we're going to go until my battery dies, it looks like. Um, I have no idea where there's a charger. It's crazy as that is. I don't know how. Okay. I may have found one across the room. Oh, Sam, is there a charger here? I'm live on a webinar and uh, my my uh, phone, my laptop's gonna die. All right, sweet, thank you. All right, guys, we're back in business. I got hooked up. Okay, sorry for that little delay. Boom, we are now charging. Okay, so it looks it, how how ironic is that that we're talking about a charger and um, I needed to get a charge. That's like the universe. Okay, so let's look at this. So this is just one example product. There's probably a bunch if we were to go back, but that's all we do. We basically go find a vendor. Okay, so they, here they got this. They got this one here, and you can kind of see like their pictures they used, really cool pictures. You could probably find these same pictures. So they have a vendor that they found. They, they, they're doing a free plus shipping item with it, and um, I've got the item here in my cart, and what they're doing, let's actually go through this process real quick. So let's go and check out. Okay. Check out, should be going, but it's going slow. Um, and then this is your typical shop, uh, Shopify screen right here or whatever. And let's go and let's put in um, Arizona 85262. Let's put in one of these addresses here. Put in one of these. Um, this is just auto save addresses. Okay, so we'll kind of put in these addresses here. Customer information, we'll do, let's do plus. Um, Geek's Garage. 
there, on a side note, if you guys ever use a Gmail address, my normal G, Gmail address is, is just um, cashflowchampion at Gmail. But with Gmail, you can create unlimited emails at your address. All I have to do is put um, cashflowchampion plus anything at gmail.com and literally anything. There could be one, two, three. And it creates like a new email address that I can track email. That's a side note. Uh, just side note, anybody has Gmail, you just take uh, your regular email and at the end of your username, you put plus anything and it creates a new address. So I'll just put in some stuff right here um, and continue to the shipping method. And my order's reserved right there. So you see, this tells me that they're charging $9.99 shipping and handling. Okay, they, got, they call it standard shipping $9.99. So what they're doing is they're, they found this charger cheap enough or maybe they bulk ordered it cheap enough where they can give it away for $9.99 and still make a profit. So just like that, what we have is on their site, Geeks Garage, let's go back through, Geeks Garage, electronics, mobile accessories, fast magnetic charger. This item right here, they're charging 10 bucks for, regularly 24. They say zero, but it's $9.99 shipping and handling. And they're probably selling it. So now let's look and let's see, let's see if we can find a model here. Let's look and let's, let's look at this. So right off the bat, it's a unique idea. It's a hot viral product. It's a unique idea. And this is just one of their many products. So it's a unique idea. And look, it's got lots of cool videos. Magnetic charging cable. So let's go to YouTube. And let's type it in there. And let's see what they got there. iPhone magnetic charging cable. And I'll bet there's YouTube videos that you might be able to use. So like, look at all these YouTube videos, you guys. Look at this. Look at all these things, look at all these videos you can use, right? So you can literally order one yourself and make a review video, or you can literally like look at all of these different videos that already exist. You could probably find one that's like a good one that you could use. And there, there's probably something here you could use as a viral video. There's probably something you could use as an, I think this would sell really well on Instagram. What I, cause see Instagram is all about like luxury items, lifestyle stuff. Honestly, I would probably try to sell this on Instagram. Let's go to Instagram. Um, Instagram. Now, Instagram doesn't work as well on desktop as it does in mobile, but let's look at like magnetic uh, phone cables. You know, let's look at like iPhone cable. Find, I'm looking for like a hashtag, right? iPhone cables, <clears throat> maybe. Let's do iPhone cable. So, iPhone cable is a hashtag. We'll just start there. <clears throat> And there's, here's people, look at this. Somebody on Instagram selling an iPhone cable. And it's like a cool like little keychain that's got like a USB thing right in there. See that? Like a fashionable thing. Um, here's a nice slick iPhone cable. Here's an iPhone cable that goes with this bag. Here's an iPhone cable. See what I'm saying? It's like Instagram's all about style. Instagram's all about style. Look at this magnetic one. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh, did I get a winner? Does anybody notice what I just found? How amazing is this? The Geeks Garage. That's the site that we're on. Boom, I get, I get points, you guys. I get points for this one. Okay, so that's how good my snooping is. Okay, so literally, I just went and did some, I just went and did some investigating. I went and found a similar product on AliExpress, and I, and I knew that this would be good on, on Instagram. Because it's just, it's just a hot, it's like a sexy item. If you saw it on Instagram, you'd be like, oh, stop in your tracks. And we went over to Instagram, we did hashtag iPhone cable, and look what popped up. Now you can also look at all these tags they're using. Android cable, magnetic charger, charger. So this is how you can reverse engineer products on Instagram as well. So right here, look at this. Indiegogo. So they're using a word, they're using it from Indiegogo. Um... And there it is, like look, this is that video, the world's first cross-compatible uh, iPhone device for all devices. So somebody else made the video, not them. And they're just advertising it. But look at this, 83,000 views, okay? So they've got 83,000 views on this. And like look at all this activity here, tons of stuff, 83,000 views. And in the, in the description, they're basically saying to go to uh, one charging cable for all your phones by Geeks Garage. And then look at this, the Geeks Garage. 
So then they linked over to the Geeks Garage, which doesn't have a big following, but beer enthusiasts, passionate and bringing cool products for technophiles and geeks, have a look at our website. We're just reverse engineering. Now we could have also done this. This is another way to reverse engineer. How could we have gotten here? Let's go back to their site. Let's go down to the bottom of, of their page. A lot of social media, when you find these sites, let's, let's, let's do this, watch. Go to Google. This is another thing that you can do. Site myshopify.com and let's do like iPhone cable because that's what we're researching and you're going to find whatever you're going to find lots of different um, lots of different sites right well anytime you want scroll all the way down to the bottom and see if they have any obvious social media profiles okay now right here I'm not seeing any like they don't have the buttons they might have them if I kind of look in a little bit more but I don't really even have the time I'm just I'm too short on time but you can go and when you find sites you like, you can go and see, like right here, follow us. See how they have all these? So see how, see how they have all these right here? They got Instagram, Pinterest, YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Well, what I like doing is I like going over their Instagram. Go over to their Instagram and scroll through and see how they're selling products. Okay? So they got a close-up here of an iPhone. Here they got a close-up of another product. They got these, these juicy cords. So they're really focusing on just these cords. They might even be their own cords for all I know. But you can kind of start to learn how they're, how they're marketing, how they're advertising. Okay? So they're advertising with like stylish pictures of people, you know, juicies, what charge you? So it's just a great way to be able to reverse engineer. So if we were to, if we were going to go here to, um, if we were going to go here to the Geeks Garage, go down to the bottom and click on, see how their social media profiles here. That's their YouTube. So let's click on each one of these really quick. Let's go to YouTube, Geeks Garage. It looks like they got a few videos. We can kind of see how they might be using them. Um, looks like they got a video here from Magic Sealer. And here's like a, a product that magically seals bags. So they realized this would sell a lot better by video. See how much better this sells by video than it would by, um, by uh, just a picture. So it's called Magic Sealer. They got their Geeks Garage thing here. Okay, and they got thousands of views. So Magic Sealer. So that's an example of um, of a product. Let's see, kitchen. It's probably here in Kitchen Gimmicks because it looked like a kitchen product. Um, it looks like that was it, but it looks like it's sold out. So I don't know why they have it sold out. I don't know what's going on sold out, but they have it sold out. Maybe they have their own inventory. But it looks like they were selling this. This Magic Sealer for $12.99. And it looked like they were selling it with like videos and stuff like that, right? So um, that's just an example. You can start to learn how they're selling products by using these, okay? So that was just that was just clicking on their YouTube. You can reverse engineer. Now, let's click on their Instagram now, the Geeks Garage, and let's go here and let's see what they're doing, okay? They got these like beer, um, you know, you can kind of go to each one even. Let me see. You can go to like, let's click, click on them one at a time. Um, What's your hobby? You can kind of learn hashtags that they have. That's just everybody needs a hobby. That one's drinking beer. There's no such thing as too early. So it looks like beer is their main thing that they do. Beer quotes, beer stuff, beer, beer shirts. Um, enjoy your beer, beer. So look, they've really got like a beer profile. That's their main thing they do with their social media. Beer shirts, beer quotes, tons of beer stuff. Um, and it's kind of like really cool because they're creating like a beer theme. You know, look at all this pizza related stuff there. So you can kind of learn a little bit more about them and a little bit more about how they might sell there. Here's a, let's look at this one. Ace of Spades, stainless steel beer bottle opener. Start your party in a cool way. So here we go. This is like a, this is like a, basically a beer bottle opener. That's a, that's a card. This is an example of an intersecting audience. You could target people that like cards and people that like beer. And here's a bottle opener in the shape of an Ace of Spades card, right? So it's just kind of like, it's just kind of pretty cool. So um, there's just different things you can do. Okay, so we kind of reverse engineer them there. And then you can reverse engineer them over on uh, their other social media profiles too. The reason is because sometimes you learn a lot about um, how somebody markets by looking at their social media profiles. So we go down here, let's click on Facebook. Okay, and you never know where somebody's like doing really good, but here we are over here on Facebook. And you can kind of start to see, let's look at some of their Facebook posts. Okay. Um, the Geeks Garage, oh my God, we're giving away this magnetic cable for free. So here's this magnetic cable that we looked at. This one has 28,000 views. 
So they've got another video here. So look, they're using the power of video to show how simple it is. Like you see how simple that girl just walked up. Like look what she does. She walks up and just throws her phone on the desk and it connects. Boom. So it just shows the simplicity of this device. Um, comment yes below to get it for free. 41,253 happy customers heard up. Tag, tag your friend. So you can, you can start to be like, oh, maybe I do. Maybe I like that. They're using emojis. They're using a link. They're using a video. Um, and maybe you like that style. Okay, here's another one. We're giving away this fidget cube for free for a limited time only. It's a fidget cube. Um, and they're basically got a little video playing as well. So what they're doing is they're finding, like, here's, like, things you could fidget with. Each side has something different you could do with if you just, like, need, need something. You can start to kind of look and see what they're, what they're doing, you know. Make any surface your keyboard. Okay, that's, like, a cool little tool. Let's make beer great again. Um, one charging cable for all your phones. And you just kind of scroll through and kind of see if there's anything here that you, that you like modeling after. Just because they post something doesn't mean it's good. You know, meet the world's best wireless fitness earbuds. And, and that doesn't mean these guys are doing amazingly well either. I'm just saying we're just modeling after uh, – we're modeling after sites and we're beginning the journey. Once you know how to model after one site, you can kind of learn to model after them all, okay? So let's go back to um, Geek's Garage. Okay, let's, let's kind of do a recap on where we are right now and let's do it with some notes. Okay, so um, this is the website that we left off, off on. Okay, um, reverse engineer – social media profiles and then we looked at you know YouTube see if they have any see if they are using popular videos to sell their products what can you learn from it okay um, Instagram um, how are they using IG can you model after it um, are they selling products Learn what's hot. Um, another one is Facebook. See what ad copy they use in their posts. Are they using videos, pictures, PPC? Yeah. Um, hey, I don't know where Sam is. I'm just sitting here doing some work. I'm on a little live stream on a computer. So if I'm talking to the computer, uh, You'll know I'm talking to a group of people that are listening, okay? <laughs> um, all right, so going, going, going. It's good. No, that's no, good. Um, sorry about that, guys. We just had a, a guest come in the room to the studio. Sorry about that. It was a, it's my friend's daughter. Um, reverse engineering social media sites. We've got YouTube. We've got Instagram. We've got Facebook. Um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. You might want to see what they're doing on Pinterest. You know, see if they are using pictures on Pinterest to sell and if there is anything going viral and then ETC, okay? So you want to like look at like, you want to reverse engineer their social media profiles. So really, what are we talking about? We're talking about go and look at a site and you start to go, okay, they're using extra add-ons, clean theme, clean stuff, and then of course products, you know, um, and then let's do hot products okay so what categories and niches are they in what products are they selling that might be hot how are they selling them can you model after their strategy for your own site and your own products examples might be um, videos embedded in descriptions products that look like they could sell on an infomercial on TV um, you might have uh, you know products that you would want to buy yourself because it's such a good offer products that might fit your niche and so on so a lot of people like are are one of the big things you can do when you're reverse engineering these sites like let's go back to Google and let's say you are in a specific niche okay let's go to site myshopify.com 
Okay, so if you're in a specific specific niche, let's say that you're in um, the same kind of niche, right? Like kitchen niche. So um, let's do like kitchen tool or whatever. You can basically like go through a lot of these sites and you can go see like what what products are they selling in their kitchen section or whatever. Because so they got a collection. This site right here with a little search, I found Quirky's kitchen products. Okay. And you can kind of see like all these different things you could be like selling on on your store. So let's see, pluck egg separator. And then you just go like this. You go like egg separator. And you kind of like see what all these egg separators are selling for. So here's like a, this egg separator here is selling for 85 cents. And with shipping, it's 232. This one right here is selling for $1.53. With shipping, it's three dollars. So these are all great free plus shipping items. Like, look at all these egg separators. So if you were in the kitchen niche, um, how many kitchen accessories could you do? And you kind of like just you you might not have even been in the kitchen niche, but you might have you might have gone here to this Geeks Garage and said, "Oh wow!" So what Geeks Garage is is a general store, and they're selling you know electronics, posters, kitchen, mobile stuff. They're they're able to sell a lot of different stuff. So kitchen gimmicks. Then you start searching into like. Like you start looking at sites, you know, like here's this egg separator. They're selling it for $12.99, but you know, they're just getting this thing for a few bucks. So they're marking it up a few bucks at $12.99. And look at this, like this, this, this uh, stem metal lemon swirler um, that you can get. This one right here, this, this little spray, can, you can put it inside of a lemon and have a lemon juice spray. Um, metal shish kebab sliders, um, scoopers, a four-in-one wine tool. That could probably show really well with a video. Um, let's see if they even have a video. Um, dun, 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 let's see. It's wine o'clock somewhere. Pour spout, colors, wine stopper, foil cutter. It looks like they're showing all the different things you could do with that picture. But maybe how it works. Yep, so there you go. They have, they have the pictures of how it works right there. You know, and they're showing it's got, it's got like four-in-one tools. It's got a wine stopper. It's got a wine pourer. And it's got the corkscrew and whatever else it has. I don't know what the fourth thing was. Um, but it's got an opener, a pourer, and a stopper. And forget, forgive me for not knowing what the fourth thing was. Um, I'm not quite entirely sure. I don't see a picture of it. Or if I do, I'm just not that sharp when it comes to wine. But it looks like at least a three-in-one. Okay, so you start, to, you start to reverse engineer. Now, did you notice we also found the site Quirky? So all we did to find Quirky was we went to a Google search. I just did a search for site colon myshopify.com and I just typed in kitchen tool. And one of the first ones here is this site called Quirky. And so what I'll do is while I'm here, I might also drag and drop this into my Shopify folder so I can model after this, join the Quirky family. You might think, oh, that's a great idea. They, they've got a name that's basically like you can, you can build like a community around it. So they're doing the email. And then look at this nice big graphics. What kind of Quirky are you? And they got all these different categories. Quirky for foodies, for organizational junkies, for clean freaks, for wine enthusiasts, for techies. Quirky for dorm jelly. So this gives you an idea right here for a general store. So right off the bat, just reverse engineering this, I'm saying, oh, there's a lot. They're saying that these products are all quirky. But there's a lot of other names. These, these products could be like, they're innovative problems. They're products. They're creative products. They're, you know, instead of the word quirky, you could do like the word like, I don't know, like um, instead of quirky, you could do like, you know, let's let's model after the site Quirky and let's just put it in here. Quirky, um, another site to reverse engineer. And I'll show you like what you can learn from it. Okay, let's see, whoops. Um, another site to reverse engineer, Quirky, okay. So, um, Quirky, replace that concept with your own. Something that describes original products that you can put in a general store that do unique things. Okay, so other words for quirky, and then you could like you could like use like a thesaurus or whatever, and you could actually come up with that. So you're really looking for like creative, unique, quirky, original. Um, cool gadgets, gizmos, um, authentic, um, 
rare. And then what you do is you go to like a word, a word thing. Let's go to other words for quirky. You just do a Google search. Other words for quirky. Eccentric, unconventional, unusual, strange, bizarre, peculiar. So you just kind of go like eccentric, bizarre, peculiar, peculiar. I don't know how to spell that. Peculiar, um, outlandish, odd, zany, pec peculiar. Okay, hold on. Um, peculiar, zany, odd, unusual. So now you can kind of think of like a store name. You could actually model in reverse after this store instead of calling yourself quirky. You might want to call yourself one of these. And you could probably do like, like, like let's take the name Zany. And then what you could do is you could do a Google search. Okay, let's go back to Google. Site myshopify.com and, and type in the word Zany and see what people are doing. Zany pet shop, um, Zany accessories, Zany chocolate drizzle, Zany gear. And then another thing you do is you could go back to um, that tool we showed, Lean Domain Search, and type in the word Zany. And you can actually start with the search term Zany. And like look at all this stuff. You could you could start you could use the word Zany and you could have a you could have your own brand following the quirky one, just like this. You know, Zany Guide, your guide to you know unique unique products online in several niches. And they could do like kitchen, tech, for, for him, for her, blah, 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 and just do all the categories and you have a general store, right? Um, and you could even do like Zany Magazine, you know? You could be like, it's your own magazine. Zany Market, Zany Direct, you know? Get Zany, get, get creative and unique products sent directly to your home. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like Zany Guru, and you could have like a picture of like a guru, like a genie in a lamp, with like holding like an original product and say, you know, we find the we find the most creative and unique products from around the web and deliver them straight and get them delivered straight to your doorstep. And you just have really creative things, you know, and your whole your whole site could be about could be like products you would see on like the home shopping network or just like they do creative things, infomercials, you know, shark tank type products. So that's what you do when you're reverse engineering, you know, you, you find products like this that sell really well in videos. And what I would do is I would um I would load up these videos like this one right here. Like, look, 83,000 views. Oh, check this out. The Geeks Garage just sent me a notification using that notifying tool. Your item is selling out fast. Buy this item right now. Check out or continue shopping. So what happened was they basically knew I had added it to my shopping cart, but then I left. And, and minutes later, they sent me a notification to, saying, hey, this is selling out fast. You might want to hurry up and grab this before it's sold out. So little tools like this, you guys, little, little things. We're reverse engineering and we're starting to understand how e-commerce works. And remember, before we thought all this stuff was difficult. You used to have to pay thousands of dollars. You used to have, some, used to have, to have somebody um, design code for you. You used to have to have you know, amazing marketing skills and big email lists. Now you don't. Literally, there's no code required. There's third-party tools that do it. You literally um, can, can pay a low monthly fee for Shopify and these products don't even have to be yours. They're just drop shipping this product from AliExpress. I mean, come on now, you guys. This is it. This is, this is the game changer. This is why we're excited about Shopify. So, um, you know, um, let's see. And these are just examples of how you can come up with your own store theme, store brand, and sell hot and popular products. Okay. No need to start over, okay? There's no need to start over. If you feel that you weren't doing things right when you started, you can just add a new logo and map a new domain name to your existing store and continue from there. Remember, these are just ideas. The main goal is to focus on selling products. Earn 100, earn 1,000, let's say sell. Goal one, sell 100 with your store, okay? Let's give you the three goals. Goal number two, sell 1,000. And then goal number three, sell 10,000. 
then you have the power to create profit online and that puts you in the top 0.01% of all online sellers. If you enjoyed this training, let me know in the comments below. And if you have any questions in the comments on the live stream, sorry. And if you have any questions, ask them as their own post in the 90 day challenge for Facebook group. We look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Okay, I'm going to be personally reading um, all of the comments. So I'm going to be taking time today, so I'm going to be personally reading the comments. So if you guys enjoyed this and you feel like there was a lot of value and if you feel like we covered a lot and some really cool stuff, I really look forward to reading your comments. And um, I've got a jam. I'm in the studio today recording more stuff. I took an hour break to be able to hang out with you guys. I hope you guys appreciate this. Remember, this is just the first week. The first week of a 12-week journey. So you guys are in good hands. Just this week alone, we've already got a lot of people selling over $1,000 of their store. And it's just been a week. So it should be you. I cannot wait to hear your testimonial. As soon as you guys, by the way, as soon as you guys sell 100 with your store, what I want you to do is I want you to go over here to the 90-day uh, the challenge group. Go to the photos section and go to albums. Okay? And there's this... Um, testimonials album right here 90 day challenge testimonials let me let me actually change that real quick to make it even easier to read testimonials oh and there's so many comments coming in testimonials for the 90 day challenge okay um press done okay testimonials for the 90 day challenge so go in the way to find this is to go to the 90 day challenge group go to photos go to albums and there's the testimonials album right there. Get in here and share your testimonials, you guys. Go and share your sales. As you start making sales, this is where I want you to start sharing your screenshots, okay? Share them right here in this testimonials. Even if you've already shared it. If you've already shared a testimonial, share it. I don't care whether it's one sale. Maybe it's your first sale. That's exciting. Your first $100, your first $1,000, your first $10,000. Get in here and sell it. Share it. I mean, you can share this screenshot here, which is your, your main dashboard, your total sales since April 1st. Um, let's see what other people have shared. Um, you can go and you can share a screenshot like that. Um, you can share a screenshot like that from your mobile device. Uh, you can share a screenshot like that from your mobile device or a little zoomed in screenshot like that. There's Or a screenshot like this. Look, this person's excited because they got their first sale. Um, so share any testimonials you guys can. This will really motivate and inspire people. And hopefully this was motivating and inspiring for you. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next 90-day episode. Take care.